What's going on guys, Jet Jock here. We've had a real busy week in the shop and we're getting ready to start the King Air. So let's get this thing started. This is the RC Jet Jock. Mm. Oh, I just broke it. Before we get started on the King Air, um, as you can see, the 182 has had a lot of work on it since the last time y'all saw it. So let's get y'all caught up on that work. Last episode, y'all saw us working on the wing servos. This episode, we're going to pop out those tail servos. And yes, they were the same Futaba 3003 nylon servos. Unfortunately, when I pulled out the old servos, I accidentally pulled out one of the lead wires. So. I had to pull out the other one too, and boy, it was a pain to string those back through. But we got the job done. Now for the exciting part. Let's get those wings put on, those wires plugged into the receiver, and see exactly the status of all of our servos. And typically how it goes, none of the servos were actually centered, except for the ailerons, they were pretty good. The flap servos were mounted opposing to each other, so we had to use an extra channel to run them properly. And for my least favorite part, soldering the ESC. Well, at least it went smoothly. Now that we're done soldering, it's time to hook up the ESC to the motor and fire it up for the first time. This proved to be more tricky than I expected because, well, we plugged the throttle lead into the wrong plug. But once we got that little problem all straightened out, it was a simple quick calibration and the motor fired right up. And very smooth, I might add. Now for the moment of truth. Are the battery cables long enough to make it through the inside of the fuselage? Whew, yeah, they were. Now it's time to center the cowl for the last time. It looks like there's going to be a little gap on the top where the fuselage meets the cowl, but we can fix that later. As I started buttoning up the cowl, I started to wonder, where is that stinking spinner? I got no stick. Well, that explains it. Now let's get that prop on. All right, guys, now it's that time. Let's fire up this motor and let's see how well this works down the runway. Chicken girl, you ready? She's still kind of sleepy, I think. So here we go. We had it, but by the way, guys, we took the uh, prop spinner off uh, because we have our kit coming. It's in the mail, should be here in a couple of days, but we couldn't wait to get this going. So here we go. All right, throttle cut off. All right. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I think that taxi test was a huge success. Now let's go inside and let's do a little work on the King Air. Come on. Next up, King Air. All right, guys, now that you're caught up on the uh, Cessna 182, um, before we get on to the King Air, a lot of you have been asking me, when is the maiden for the 182 going to be? It, it, I like to take my time. I don't want to send these things up too quickly. So we have a little time on the 182, a lot of kinks to work out, and obviously balance and all that stuff. So probably in the next two weeks, uh, we'll be getting that in the air. So um, we'll keep y'all posted. Um, so first things first, we're going to pull off this center section and see how bad the damage is on the King Air, and we'll start repairing and stuff. So here we go. And we have a chicken girl coming into the building. How you doing, chicken girl? Good. Oh, this is know. kind of a big airplane. I don't know why I woke up at five something this morning. I just woke up. I think that was an omission of grump. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, if y'all if y'all are just joining us with this project and you're like, hey, this guy's never looked at this airplane, you're absolutely right. I have never really opened this airplane up and done anything I with it. I was wondering if it was a hatch and then I found out it was wings. Yeah, so let's see how much of this is still plugged in. None. None. Okay, cool. All right, so there's the center section off. Yeah, it's quite broken. If you can see, guys, I'll, I'll show it to y'all. Got a lot of damage here. You can see it right there. So I haven't flown this thing then. What is the inside? Well, no, it never flew. The, I think it only taxied before. I got the video of the taxiing, too. It was one of our friends. He's a good guy. By the way, if you're watching, hey, Chris, how you doing? Um, yeah, so let's start off with repairing this section. Probably be smart for us to go ahead and put a, another piece of wood over that. I think it'll be covered. Oh, so that was the Cessna. Huh? The Cessna is the one that flew. Supposedly, yes, the Cessna. The King Air has not flown. So the King Air is... All right, let's put this back in here. I want to see how much room that I have when I put the belly pan on it. Is that the interior? Well, no, it's an exterior piece. It's this guy right here. This is the belly pan. Um, let's see. Yeah. Looks like there's... Okay, I see. There's actually a plate. Okay. All right, so we actually do have a plate. I'll show it to you guys. Right here, that sandwiches the belly pan to the fuselage here, or to the wings. So let's see how, see how that fit looks. Pretty nice fit. Yeah, it's a pretty nice fit. Well, shoot, that looks pretty darn good, actually. Um, because that should hold that down. And guys, like I said, I'm sorry if, if it seems like I'm just figuring things out. I really am. I mean, this is the really the first time I'm getting a, a good sit-down look of this, uh, of this gorgeous airplane. Now, we were talking about servos earlier, and uh, I'm not sure you can kind of see it right here. I don't think anything bigger than a than a nine gram is going to work so um that's not okay that, that well. that's just loose that that could be fixed that could be fixed mm-hmm where might be through here yeah that's going through the top hmm interesting yeah I don't quite understand all of this. We're going to have to figure it out. Is there one on the other side still on the top? Yeah, but those are, those are bolts. This one's just a screw. Huh. Oh, this one doesn't have a servo. Yeah, this one doesn't have a servo at all. I guess let's start off by really thinking that this might be strong enough. Just a little weak through here. That could be fixed. What's that? That could be fixed. Yeah. You could just get a new piece of wood. Well, I'm not even sure if it needs that, chicken girl. If I'm looking at that correctly, that takes kind of all of that off. This center section feels pretty darn solid. I was going to originally reinforce it, but I. I don't think I'm going to do that after all. I think I'm going to leave it as is. So Daddy, can you repaint the King Air like the other King Air that we have? No, we're going to repaint it. Uh, hey, that's a good question, by the way, guys. I'm going to put up the photo here while we're talking. Um, I'm going to repaint it like this old King Air that I used to fly. It was a really cool scheme. It was silver and red. Don't you remember that one? Haven't I shown you the pictures of it? Yep. Yeah, so that'll be really cool. All right, so I guess first things first, we got this separated, so let's get this down. And guys, we're also thinking about, while we've got this thing taken apart, is going ahead and uh, starting the repaint. So uh, leave in the comments what you think, if we should repaint this before the maiden, or should we just get this thing going and get it in the air and then repaint it later. So I'd love to hear from you guys your opinion on that. 
this crack still kind of bothers me. So, you know, what I may do just to, and I don't know if it's gonna help any or if it really even matters, because like I said, that piece is on there real good. So I'm not too terribly worried about it um, because of how that other thing is linked in. So I may just, uh, here, I'll bring y'all in a little closer so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I may just uh, put a little uh, Gorilla Glue just to fill in the gaps and make me sleep better at night. I don't think that King Arab bugs your sleep. I think it's whether the horses are in or not. Yeah. Yeah. That was Gorilla Glue in the mouth. Yeah, that was Gorilla Glue in the mouth. Yeah, I'm just going to fill in these cracks here. I mean, they're not even all the way through, so this would just be a little reinforcement, really. That's not a cat rag. Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah, it already had glue on it. I promise you, Mommy's not going to kill me this time. She's never killed you before. She's actually really nice about it. She's, she's never killed me before, obviously, because I'm still here, right? <laughs> she's very nice to you about it. She just tells you to take the rag mm -hmm. to the barn and use it for your whatever. When are we, we mating the Cessna? When are we mating the Cessna? We're doing that in a couple of weeks, I think. Don't drip glue on the table. Aha. Uh -huh. You're very smart. So let's look at the... Well, you know what? We'll set this aside while we're letting it dry. Daddy? What? Oh, no. Um, taped on. Well, yeah, I did that. Why did you do that? Because I didn't want the um, the ailerons to go missing on us. Well, that means it doesn't hold in the air. Huh? It isn't supposed to hold in the air, is it? Well, no, guys. Just remember, don't use uh, just regular tape. It's not going to hold on in the air. Um, in fact, the guy that had it before me, um, they were using uh, the little... Um, uh, what are those things called? Uh, CA hinges, right? Those little paper things that go. Yeah, they were using CA hinges, and I think he was upgrading to nylon hinged hinges. Um, so he had cut them out, and that's why I, I just I just taped it so it would look good when it was hanging from the ceiling. It's all about the looks, Bo. Oh, no, too big. Okay, we gotta get a smaller one. It's a little competition. Did you just find it? No. Too small. Man. Too small. Isn't that how it always goes, though? It doesn't even allow it. Oh well, yeah. Push rods are not good Allen wrenches. Just that's that's a good uh, that's a good uh, point, right? Wait, hey, hey, I think I might have found one. I think I may have found it, but my hands are too big. Did you just find it? Nope. Hey, I found it. All right, so let's start pulling this apart and seeing what we have. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to organize this stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Except if I organize it, then you won't keep it organized. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Because multiple screws were used to hold down the servos, the surge went from Allen wrenches to Phillips head screwdrivers. Hey, wait, wait, I think I figured it out. What? Oh. Ha ha! By the way, right here, Legend Hobbies, they supply us with all of our servos and everything. Well, we buy them, <laughs> but uh, they um, really fast shipping and everything, but they always give you all kinds of cool things. Uh, we got t-shirts, hats, socks even. Um, and this really cool pin with a uh, with a screwdriver on the end. So uh, it's a flathead and a Phillips head and a measuring tape and a level and a pen. Yeah, see, it's all kinds of cool stuff. And they also give you plenty of hobby knives with uh, a whole bunch of blades. So, hey, thanks guys over there at uh, Legend Hobbies. All right, so let's see what kind of servos we have going on in here. What the heck? Yeah, so we got some. We got a lot of work to do. Actually, I think we might be at, I think this might be a bigger servo than a, a nine gram, maybe, no. Corona. 
Metal Gear. It feels. I can't get it up. I'm gonna have to look up uh, more information on the servo. It's a for any of you guys at home, if you want to tell me if this is a decent brand or not, it's a. Uh, it looks like it's Corona and it's a uh, CS dash uh, two three eight MG. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, if this uh, you think will be uh, beefy enough, I'll, I'll do my own research as well. Um, if this is beefy enough for this airplane, let's see. Do we have the same kind over here? Like I said, guys, uh, if y'all if y'all are just thinking that this is the first time that uh, I'm looking at the in airplane, uh, you would absolutely be correct. This is the first time I'm looking at the inside of this airplane. You mentioned that five times. Well, then I just mentioned it six, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, so this one is a high tech. Okay. So it looks like we got multi brands in here. This is a high tech 5085 Metal Gear. So, uh, once again, 5085, um, you guys are out there joining, watching this, uh, work on this this morning. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, if there's enough room for anything bigger I, I have some cheap uh y'all had y'all had recommended uh 17 uh, gram um i believe it was uh metal gear so i've got a couple of just cheapy free wings that i wouldn't use on this airplane but let me go bring them over and just even see if that even would be a possibility hey i think we already had 17 grams in there it looks like yeah so yeah, I'm going to do some research on those numbers and come back to you guys. They, I mean, we, we may be in business here for sure. Um, they're the same size as the little cheapy free wings. So, I mean, I think, I, think we may, I think we may be okay. I think we may be okay. Yeah, they're definitely not 9 grams. Let's look at that tail real quick. Now, the tail for sure had 9 gram servos in there. And I'm looking at the hole and everything. And... I bet it might be a tight fit, but I think we can make it work. I think we can do it. Hey, um, alligator clamp. Part of a plane on it. Two parts of a plane. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard crash, huh? Was that one the, uh, what was that one called? Yeah, guys, I think it's going to work. The one that went up and down? Well, most airplanes go up and down. Up, 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 and then bang! That airplane. Okay, so moving forward, it looks like we're just going to have to order a couple of 17-gram uh, servos. In the meantime, we'll get these guys tested out. Um, like I said, I'll do some research too, and uh, y'all also let me know what you think about these brands. I've never heard of Corona before, but... Just because I've never heard of it doesn't mean that uh, it's not good. So um, let me know there. And oh, it's so cute. It's a little tiny level. Yeah, it is a little level. Or wait, it's a little off level. <laughs> well, the shop's off. Ah, I cracked myself up. So I'm gonna go get my receiver. I'm gonna go get a receiver from inside the house real quick. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna test out all these servos, okay? So hang tight. Okay, guys. <laughs> That's just stuff that's just accumulated over the years. It's weird stuff. All right. Another binding plug. So we're gonna go ahead and just plug this in real quick. So let's bind this sucker. Man. Did you see a secret stash of crazy stuff? Look at all the Phillips head screwdrivers I found. I know. It's funny how you find them all after you don't need them, right? Well, that's how it is in the See, she's a realist. What use is a plastic screw? Uh, those are breakaway bolts. Breakaway? Okay, so that works. Look at all the down wrenches up there. Whoa! It's just waving his hand saying. It's saying hi, how are you doing? 
Okay, so. The airplane says hi. Your driver. All right, so it seems like those servos work. So, I mean, that's good. So I'm gonna get this wing bolted back up and then I'll pull out the other wing and we'll uh, go from there. All right, so instead of taking, well, I wanna check the brand. I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments as well. How do y'all feel about um, using different brands on different control surfaces? So, you know, like, uh, a high tech and a Corona, for example, on the uh, tips versus or on the ailerons, like separately. So we'll, you know, let me know what you think. I'm going to open this one up and see what we have in here. See if we even have that problem. Pinch yourself with a spring. Life lessons from Chicken Girl. Real fast. Oh, There's some weird stuff I've never seen before. Well, honey, I've had that box since the 90s, so there's probably some good old relics in there. That you gotta explain to us? I'm not gonna sit here and explain this whole box to everybody. I think that would be gone. Now, once again, though, y'all are the viewers on the channel, so if y'all need explanations and y'all want me to explain all this stuff, let us know. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see what brands we got anyway. Push rod. Hey, look, I had two of them. Look. <laughs> probably more in this pile. Don't call them a moron. I said more in this pile. She's rude. Oh, what we well, got I here. Screw it. All right, so we have one of those Coronas on the outside. So we have matching aileron um, servos. Like I said, I don't, I've don't. i never heard of the Corona brand. I would love to hear y'all's input on that, um, whether it's a, a good brand or I should just uh, go ahead and replace them. We're gonna give it a test here to see if it works oh, out next. Another one of those two per tiny. A two per tiny? Mm -hmm. Did you say a two per tiny? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, let's pick. I thought Donald Trump girl said that two per tiny. She's... Okay, I know everybody's like sitting there. Hey, Jet Jock, quit being lazy. Open that uh, alligator. And another one. Okay, let's see here. Why am I using a razor blade to do that? That's not the safest of things. It's not the smartest of things either. Well, no one's ever credited for me being smart though, honey. All right, so there we go. Got that off. Do these go in this box, Daddy? Uh, to be quite honest, I don't even know what they're to. So yeah, just put them in there. It's metal, we'll save it. And this one is... The high tech uh, 5085. So um, it's the same one. It, so they're matching, they're complimentary. Um, so that looks good. Once again, let me know about uh, that particular servo. I know nothing about. Um, love to hear you guys. Uh, what y'all think about this equipment? Is this another bending bar? No, it's a bent bar. No, 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 that's a push rod. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these covers back and bolt it on. And then uh, we'll run these servos up and uh, confirm that they work. And then we'll move on to uh, that center section over there. I hear a mouse. You hear it? Sounds like he's over there. Let's go get him. No. Nah. I like having those mice uh, before Chicken Girl comes in the morning. They keep me company. We uh, we have good conversations. <laughs> <laughs> They're costing me our feed bill, though, right? Do you have to leave cans open? Oh yeah, because you don't leave cans open too. Quit, quit blaming Luga Girl. All right, so we have them both There's in now. This one, I need to organize this whole thing. It says hi. It feels pretty strong. I said hi. 
Okay, so those seem to uh, work as well. That's good news. That maybe, I don't know, like I said, let me know about okay, these servos. What is this? I think it's something that holds Allen wrenches. Daddy, what's this? Allen wrenches. I guess this has stabilization. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. That's not great. Yeah, it's not working anymore. Look at that. So. Have you gotten in an accident? Hmm. And that could just be inter. Oh, that might be just interference. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll have to figure that out later. That's a lot. And that could just be my own stupidity. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. I'm, I'm making that aileron servo move hey, whenever yeah. I move these yeah. around. It looks like the material of my hoof pick. Uh-huh. An That's an Allen wrench hoof pick. Okay, so yeah, let me know about that, but I mean, it works. Well, no, it doesn't now. Look at that. That servo does not work anymore. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, that servo's bad. That one, whatever that one was. Yeah, that servo just completely stopped working now. So, yeah, I don't know about this Corona brand of servo. So that one's a Corona? Yeah, that's the Corona acting up. What's this one? This is the high tech. I, I, I like high tech. I've used it a lot. So that may be the uh, route that I need to consider going. Is this the second one? Dad, is this the second one? And I mean, noticeably, if you look, uh, I'm not sure if y'all can see it or not, but like the... Oh, I see. I see. I see what's going on. It looks like the Corona's uh, wires are loose on the plug. And that could just be as simply as what it is. And that's probably why it's... Yeah. So that, that's why it was doing that. Sorry, guys. It's uh, It was just loose. Okay. So... Anyway, there's that. All right, so let's get that center section. Okay, it's there. Your box is clean. Now you can find stuff. Right? Y'all sense anger? No. She's like, there, your box is clean. All right. Well. All right, chicken girl, now that you're done with that, you grab this side. Do you do the Phillips tires anymore? No. Do you? Good? They're all Allens? Yep. Oh. Who is this Allen guy anyway? And why is he involved in RC? With all these different Allen heads, I think I just want to slap him. <laughs> Hopefully no one named Allen is watching. Well, I'm talking about the Allen. Who's the Allen? I don't know the guy that Allen uh, wrenches are named after. They're kind of the bane of my existence. All right, so we got the high tech on this side. Come on, high tech on your side. You think we got a high tech over there? The wood's weak here. Well, yeah, it's just a little thin piece of plywood. I can't wait for this thing to come up because when the sun comes up, I'm going outside. Oh, yeah. No. You hear that, guys? She's excited for the sun to come up so she can go do chores. Now, how cool is that? So, what do we have? It's a high tech. All right. So, we have four high tech um, uh, servos. Um, Two chronometers. Uh, on the flaps, and we got two, uh, as she would say, Corono <laughs> on the um, ailerons. So uh, I think we should be good with the 17 grams. Um, so uh, 
Yeah, just like again, let me know about the Coronas. I've, like I said, I've never heard of them, so I'm not dogging them or anybody's choice of using them on this airplane prior to us owning it. Just like I had said, I, I'd never heard of them before, so let, let me and know. We asked the previous owner, how does the Corona work? Well, that would be too easy. Are you expecting this to be? I tell you what, if all these servos are good, it's going to be a lot quicker. Unless the chronos are good. But uh, I'll take you guys around for a second. I can kind of show you all the innards of this plane. There are a lot of wires. Oh, yeah. Here, why don't you put, uh, you want to put these back on now? No. It's not stimulating enough for you? She's chomping at the bit, literally. I want to get outside. She's ready to go catch them horses. Buddy would be sad if I don't. And I'll say, oh, buddy, I'm going to catch you didn't catch me today. Hey, why don't you show them your impression of your horse whenever he throws a fit? I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad. <laughs> it's literally all bad. He used to scrape the ground and get really mad and angry looking, and it was rather intimidating, but now he just flops his foot in the air. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> You're like, ugh, I video it. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to show you all some video of it. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. It's hilarious. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I'm mad. Yep, basically that's it. So now that we're buttoning this side up, we'll go show you all some of the, the wire mess that's inside uh, of the fuselage. Like I said, guys, I don't really know how we're going to just, I guess we'll have to just take it wire by wire, right, chicken girl? Yeah. And just figure it all out. That'll be on a future so, episode. Yeah, not this episode. Right no. now I'm getting excited. Yeah. I'm going outside. Daddy's going to help me this morning and get this out. Yeah. We're gonna go saddle some horses. All right, so let's take this over here. He saddles my horse, I saddle his horse, because his horse likes me, my horse likes him. All right, chicken girl, you wanna show them the inside of the airplane? I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> well, I don't think I know how to explain it either. <laughs> I mean, okay, so I mean, this is uh, the wiring harness that's running from the uh, tail section to the front. Here are our, our plugins for the wings that lead us to, I think, right in here where they all come to a head. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> that's probably the same size as a wire bundle in a real King Air. Um, I know we had a servo go out on the nose steering, which was told to me before we uh, purchased the airplane. Um, I think that's the retract, uh, box up front. That's the lighting system right here. So, yeah. Hopefully there's a, a Y up in the tail somewhere. That would make life easy. So we're gonna have to pull that tail off and see. So we'll check that out, um, for next time, uh, that we're in here. Actually, I guess real quick, we could always just pull that off. So let's do that real quick. So we got the light wire. Hey, Daddy, look. Big chickens are laying again. Uh -huh, so And look at how nice the babies is. Look at that. Show them. Very Baby nice. chicken egg. And chicken girl gets the chicken eggs. All right, guys, moment of truth. Do we have two wires? One. Here's the light. Look, 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 I think we do. Maybe we have three. We got it. We got all three wires right here. Woo! So I, that'll make things go way easier because I would never want to cut into this uh, fiberglass tail. All right, guys, uh, looks like the sun's coming up. It's about time for uh, Chicken Girl and I to go outside and do some chores, right, Chicken Girl? Yep, already did the chickens. Yep, she's already done the chickens. Uh, did they have food, by the way? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm, um, I'm gonna dump the rest of the bag in there, though. 
more. So guys, please uh, let us know about uh, the servos and what we've got going on in the King Air right now. Um, it's uh, looking promising, actually, that this might actually get done a little bit faster than I thought, right, Chicken Girl? Yeah. So I'm feeling pretty encouraged about that. Um, let, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And guys, also let me know what y'all think about painting it before Maiden or waiting until we Maiden to paint it uh, later. And uh, please leave all those in the comment sections because we also love talking to you about our projects and everything else going on. Get your families involved, bring new people into the hobby, and take it away, Chicken Girl. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll Bye. see you next time. Bye. Okay. I'm